Her dad has obviously a very interesting story. Michael came from Israel to New York, sort of found a, I think he was working in advertising, right? But then he found an opportunity in this neighborhood that was, it was pretty shady at the time, right? Chelsea was a, you know, there was an artist community and whatnot, but it wasn't really known for its commercial promise or anything like that. What was his, what did he see in that neighborhood that other people did see? Yeah, I, what he saw and what he always sees is what makes him the visionary. He had started a very interesting business called Automatic Typing, okay. um, which was today, it's, it's what's today's junk mail, but, uh, but back then, and, and, and today they don't have it because of printers. <laughs> but back then, it was uh, you typed on one typewriter and it was connected to 500 other typewriters. And, and it was typing the same letter on 500 typewriters. Today, you press 500 copies and the printer spits it out. And, uh, and he started buying up his competitors. And he was, he was buying the Brooklyn competitor, the Queens guy, the Bronx guy. And he consolidated them to New York to the point where he needed so much space in Manhattan that he found it easier to, to buy his own building. And after he bought the building, because like you said, it, was a, it, was a, it wasn't a residential area. It was very commercial, very industrial back there. And, uh, and so it was, he had like a mini printing press, if you will, running, cr cr cranking out these letters. And, um, and so he wound up buying, he, he wound up needing three floors of a building. And he went ahead and bought the building. And so he bought the building for his, uh, for his typewriter business. How and much then he did saw he pay? Do you remember? Two, he said $200,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something mm -hmm. like ridiculous like that. You know? mm -hmm. And then, and then he said, and he he understood that that there was condos going around and and individual floors in the neighborhood selling for as much as as fifty thousand dollars a floor, and so that's where it started the business. The the building was a twelve story building for two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. um, one thing he he did, which was you know in retrospect one of the best things he could have ever done for the entire family was he kept the the stores the storefronts yeah. and and the, and the and the penthouses of each one of these buildings so he would re resell out the units in the in the middle and something that cost him 200,000 he would sell for 500,000 so and profit then, right there and then cash yeah. flow at the bottom and then what what happened with the yeah. penthouses and we would rent them we we still own these these properties here and there and every now and then he would sell them i think the last one we sold for something like nine million dollars and we bought a, a strip mall with 